Hey, once again, everyone, Wednesday evenings, weather for Weather Geeks, the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. Uh, in case you missed it uh, last evening, I put up a blog post on ericwfmj.com all about the precipitation trends over the last, really, year and a half. It's been pretty remarkably wet, despite the relatively dry weather we've had this week. Uh, I included a lot of uh, graphics on that uh, blog post, including this one, showing the rainfall compared to average so far in 2019. Now, of course, the anomalies are much higher out across the Mississippi and Missouri Valleys, Tennessee Valley as well, lower Ohio River Valley. That being said, it's been a fairly wet year around here so far. Uh, you know, we've all been pretty much in the same boat, although there's a couple of hot spots here. One kind of uh, Canfield to Boardman, another up around uh, Sharon, Hermitage, West Middlesex. Uh, at the airport, uh, we're running a few inches above average for the year. It's not a huge number. We've certainly had wetter starts to years, but we are running a surplus, and boy, it's really remarkable when you look at this view. This goes all the way back to January of 2018, only two months in that entire stretch, uh, 16 months now, not counting uh, May, uh, in which uh, we've had uh, below average precipitation. That was back-to-back -back months late last summer, July and August. Every other month has featured above average precipitation since the beginning of 2018, and that includes the wettest September on record last year with 4.16 inches more than average in the month of September. All right, this morning we had a couple of uh, renegade showers that were not expected. Uh, these started to impact the area around five o'clock and up through about uh, seven, eight o'clock this morning, there were a couple of, you know, kind of spotty, unexpected showers around. You're gonna see that on our time-lapse, showing the showers pushing through early. Now, the rest of the day was just fine. Now, it took a little bit of time for this uh, deck of clouds to finally completely clear out. It took a good chunk of the afternoon. It was still a nice afternoon, but Again, it took until the very end of the uh, whoops, the end of the afternoon into the evening before the sky cleared. Those showers this morning dropped a few hundredths of an inch uh, across parts of Mahoning County, parts of uh, Trumbull County as well. A little touch of rain in Mercer and Lawrence earlier on today. We uh, hit the lower 70s uh, earlier on this afternoon, 71 at the airport, 72 in Akron. Once again, much like the last few days, it was quite a bit warmer off to our south. They did 77 in Pittsburgh and Wheeling and 80 in Zanesville and in Columbus as well. Just like has been the case over the last few days, all the weather action's out west this evening, although everything is inching east. A couple of days ago, most of the heavy thunderstorms were out here, and now they're out across parts of the lower Mississippi Valley, just where they don't need the rain. Parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, heading up into Missouri as well. Louisiana, eastern Texas, uh, really where we have to watch for some severe weather still this evening. This system is also drawing up some warm and increasingly humid air. It's well up into the 80s this evening in Nashville. It got into the mid 80s earlier in Lexington and Cincinnati. And we've got a shot at uh, 80 here tomorrow before the showers and storms move through. Now these dew points by midsummer standards are nothing all that high, but yeah, for mid to early to mid spring, this is getting kind of muggy. And I think you'll notice tomorrow, it'll feel a little bit muggy, not super muggy, but a little bit muggy outside as this warm front lifts across. Now the morning's dry. As we get into the first part of the afternoon, I can't rule out a passing shower, uh, but by far and away, the weather, wetter part of the day is going to be late afternoon heading into the evening. That's when showers and thunderstorms will blossom. But you'll notice our actual cold front is still well off to the west. And so these showers and storms are going to be really outracing the uh, what we call the atmospheric dynamics for strong thunderstorm severe weather. Um, the severe weather risk is going to be higher off to our west as a result. But still, a couple of gully washers, uh, mostly garden variety thunderstorms, what you can expect for the second half of the day. Hour by hour rain chances. Again, can't rule something out early in the afternoon, but notice how these climb pretty quickly late afternoon into the evening on Thursday. The Storm Prediction Center does have a slight risk, kind of a, uh, a two out of five, if you will, on the severe weather scale uh, for areas pretty much south and southwest of Cincinnati back towards Memphis. The low end risk, kind of a one out of five on the scale, gets up to about Columbus. Uh, that's about it. Now, again, a couple of Heavy thunderstorms can be a possibility, but the severe weather risk tomorrow is not very impressive. No matter what parameter you look at, whether it's for supercells, whether it's for isolated tornadoes, hail, wind, this is all on the low end of the scale. Now, if storms get feisty enough, could there be some real small hail, a brief gust of wind, and certainly a gully washer that reduces visibility quickly? Sure, absolutely. But the kind of wind that's gonna cause damage, the kind of hail that's gonna be sizable, that does not seem all that likely with our storms. 
late in the afternoon into the evening tomorrow. All right, so our, the, front, the frontal timing here is uh, Friday morning. The front will make a passage somewhere between 8 and 10 probably, and that will put an end to any temperature rise, I think, on Friday. Temperatures will glide back and probably hover somewhere in the upper 50s to around 60 for the afternoon with a gusty breeze. It's going to feel pretty chilly outside, I think, Friday afternoon under a blanket of clouds as well. Better things to come on Saturday, although a cool northerly wind will keep us below average as we kick off the weekend, but this will be the better half of the weekend. I say that because, yeah, showers are becoming more and more likely, I think, for Mother's Day on Sunday. Now, for the system that will impact us tomorrow, tomorrow night, early Friday, here's a look at the latest modeling. Again, not sure what the RPM's doing this evening. Kind of ignore that. I, you know, there's still a pretty decent spread here, but I think a good average will be somewhere in here. Half an inch to three quarters of an inch on average from our showers in storms late Thursday into Thursday night and early on Friday. All right, let's uh, take a quick look at the longer range trends here. I'm going to show you two different models, the GFS and the European. Overall, the idea here is we're going to have a hard time getting some warmth in here on a consistent basis through mid-month. I'm going to go all the way out into early next week here. Notice the cool anomalies on the GFS. The Euro has a similar idea. In fact, the Euro is even cooler. And these cool anomalies probably try to stick around, according to the latest modeling, through at least the 15th, 16th, 17th. And then finally, there's pretty good agreement here on the modeling. By the 19th, 20th, 21st, finally, the West starts cooling down and warm anomalies start showing up in the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley. Again, this is still about two weeks away. For the next 10 to 12, 13 days, while we're going to have the occasional decently warm day, we're going to have a hard time getting consistently warm. Lots of upper 70s, lower 80s, that kind of thing, the kind of thing we saw last May. We have a hard time seeing that, I think, for the next 10 to 12 days. There's some hope then that around the 20th, about two weeks from now, uh, we'll start getting into more consistent, above average warmth for the last uh, maybe third of May. That's it for tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you back here tomorrow.